Hello, students. Welcome to yet another wonderful class. And um, here today, I'm going to be evaluating using tables the question on the screen. Uh, the tables here will be log green table and anti log green table. Okay. So I have some things done already. So I'm going to teach you. I will explain to you what I've done. Right. Now we have number, then we have log. I'm starting with the numerator. The numerator is 41.02 times 0 0.0075. So, now I have this. How did I get the log 1.6130? It is important. Now, watch what I'm going to be doing here. Now, remember, it is 41.02 that we use logging table to get 1.6130. Now, let me start with this. I have 1.6130. The one there is called the characteristic. Then the 6130 is known as the mantissa. How did I get the characteristic? I will show you now. Now, if I have 41.02, changing it to standard form, I have 4.102 times 10 raised to power 1. You see this power 1? That is our uh, characteristic. That is exactly how this one is being gotten. Hence, this one. So, you've seen that too. Now, let's move. How do I now get the 6130 with Mantisa? The Mantisa will be gotten strictly from the logarithm table. And what will happen? I have, if you check the logarithm table, it starts from 10. So, I will check 41 under 0 difference of 2. That is how we do it. 41 under 0 difference of 2. So we move. Let me show you how to do it. Now look at it here. Look at 41. Can you see 41? This is log table. I have 41. Can you see the 41 here? Very important. Under 0. This is 0. This is under 0. 6, 1, 2, 8. Now difference of 2 is 2. So you are going to add the difference. So you have 6, 1, 2, 8. Then you have 2. All right. So if you add it, you are going to have 0, 3, 1, 6. Hence, the 6, 1, 3, 0. So that is exactly how to get it. All right. Now, the second thing there is for the number less than 1, which is 0 0.0075. Now, you change this to standard form, which is 7.5 times 10 raised to power minus 3. You see this minus 3? That is the exact thing that is this bar 3. Now, what seems to be the case here is in the logarithm environment, you don't use the negative 3. That is minus 3. Hence, or what you now use is bar. So, bar represents the negative. Okay, So, minus 3 in logarithm environment is bar 3. Hence, the bar 3 there. Now, you check 75 under 0. Just as I checked uh, 41.02 using the logarithm table, you are going to get 8751. Now, the next thing that I need you to note is this. Can you see they are multiplying? Now, the simple rule is that when two numbers multiply, what happens to their log is they are going, is going to be summed. Or the two numbers or the two logarithms will be summed. That is, we are going to add. So, here we are adding. Now, when we add this, we are going to get 1, 8, 8, 6 plus 8 is 14, rather than 4, carry 1. Now, please just watch and see what I'm going to do here. You see, 1 plus the 1 here is 2. So, 2 plus, remember, bar 3 is minus 3. What you are going to have is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. But, of course, you know we are not going to write minus 1. You are going to write bar 1 point. So we've done this. Very important. Okay, good. Now, the same thing happened in this numerator. Uh, sorry, denominator. The same thing. So all we need to do, if you check the denominator, they are multiplying to. So you are adding. So you are going to have addition here. And you are going to have 5. You have 3. You have 6. You have 0. Then you have 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus minus 1 is 1. So here is 1 point. So we are done. We've gotten this part. Now since the numerator and denominator has been analyzed, the next thing to do is 
let me shift this here and let me shift this here so i have about 1.4881 and i have 1.0635 now it is numerator over denominator division now the simple rule when it comes to division is that you subtract their logs so i'm going to subtract very important now what will i get when i subtract please watch one minus five cannot work out so we take one from eight bring it to one we have 11 11 minus five we have six then of course the next will be four and i have two and i have four now i have bar one minus one please this is what i have minus one which is the bar one minus then we have one so it's minus one minus one which is minus two and logarithm environment is what bar two so i'm done with this part all right now bringing my answer here i have bar two point four two four six now but let me go back can you see that the numerator denominator everything we've done has been squared now we have now come to power the simple rule in this is this once you have power you multiply the log by the power hence i will multiply this by the power two okay and this is what i'm going to have two times six is twelve right and uh, 2 carry 1 then 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 we have 9 then I have 4 then I have 8 then 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 so here is going to be bar 4 so I have it this way am I done let me check oh okay it has been cube rooted now let me tell you what you need to do once you have a root once you have a root you divide once you have a root you divide now we are saddle responsibility to divide so i have four by four point eight four nine two divided by three now this is where some students find it difficult to do uh to work out so i'm going to work it out for you just check it out now ha huh. i have by four point eight four nine two divided by three what you need to do separate it so i have four plus zero point eight four nine two all over three i have not done anything to this now what you should do from here is this what can i do because three cannot go into bar four perfectly it must have a remainder and that is not what i want all right because i'm working under logarithm environment so what do i do i will do something to bar four so that three can work can go into it without remainder perfectly now what will i do quickly i'll subtract two here now for me not to change what i've done i'll add the two here all right this is very important now note you can never add because some of you will say, okay, why not make bar four to be bar three so that three can go into it without remainder? No, 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 you don't do that. You always subtract at the characteristic side, then you add at the mantissa side. So perfect. This is exactly what you are going to be doing always. Okay. So therefore, once you have this, you are going to have bar six plus 2.8492 all over three which is bar six over three plus two point eight four nine two all over three now doing this you are going to have bar two uh plus once you divide this you have zero point nine four nine seven now combining it you have bar two point nine four nine seven so we've divided right i will now come back and put my answer here which is bar 2.9497 now the next thing to do after i've worked out everything i need to get my answer in number environment in number form not in log form remember we are actually evaluating 
So I'll come down. This is what you need to do. Very important. In doing this, keep this characteristic. If you are using anti-log to find number, please keep the characteristic, okay? The characteristic will be used to get the decimal point at the end of the day, where the decimal point should be. Now, what we are going to be working with is this mantisa, which is this 9497. So you go to your anti log table, you will check 94 under 9, difference of 7. The same way we use the log table, log green table is the same way we are going to use this anti log table. Now, if you do that, okay. If you do that, you are going to have this as your answer. You are going to have uh, 8906. So we've done this. Very important. Now, this is how you are going to use your uh, characteristic bar 2. What you need to do, you put your point after the first number. Remember, just as we do in standard form. Then times... 10 raised to power the bar 2, which is now minus 2, because we are in the number environment now. That is all. That is your answer. Okay? So your answer is actually 8.906 times 10 raised to power minus 2. But if you wish to leave it in um, normal form, not the standard form, you are going to have 0 0.08906. Alright? As your answer. So this is what you are to get as your answer if you should do it correctly and you can always use your calculator to check whether what you've done is correct or not all right very important so you can keep watching the video just make sure you learn it is actually very simple right so do not forget to like the video make your comment and make sure most importantly you subscribe for more interesting solutions to math questions thank you so much for being with me